Hello everyone, welcome to Basically Neda. I am Neda, and in this video, I'm going to talk about history of witches in books. <laughs> the earliest witch in literature is Hecate, daughter of the Titans Perseus and Asteria. She appears in Ovid's uh, Metamorphosis, where she claims that she is the goddess of sorcery. It was first written in Latin in the 8th century BC. And then second witch that we see is Circe from the same century, 8th century BC. But this is now the Greek side where we get Circe from the Odyssey by Homer. And she is a witch who, it, who lives in her own palace on an island. So when uh, Odysseus and his men are there, um, she turns some of them, some of his men into um, animals, like pigs. And she tricks Odysseus to be um, his lover. <laughs> and she's a She's seen as a wicked enchantress in this, uh, in the Odyssey. Then we get to Geoffrey of uh, Mamont's Vita Merlini in 1150. We get Morgan Le Fay, and she is a very powerful enchantress, and she is from the um, legend of. Uh, King Arthur, and she's in some of the uh, versions of this book. She she's seen as his half sibling. And then we get to sixteen eleven, where we get the weird sisters from Mac in Macbeth from William Shakespeare. They are the people who are foreshadowing the events that are happening that are going to happen. They deliver the prophecies that set the play for the events that are going to happen. And they are described as haggy like women with chappy fingers and skinny lips and muscular built bodies and they have beards. <laughs> so they are seen as more masculine in a way. And then in Act 3, we get Hakat coming in and asking these ladies why didn't they not invite her to do all these prophecies and enchantment towards Macbeth. And she's upset with them. And then in Act 4, which is the last act, the sisters give Macbeth a vision of his own downfall of his kingdom. And we, we also see the, or, the original uh, enchantress coming in into this. In 1812, the, we get the Grimm's fairy tales. And in the Grimm's fairy tales, there are two uh, fairy short fairy tales that have witches in them. Um, one is Snow White, where the stepmother turns into the witch and tries to uh, get Snow White to eat the poison apple. And then we also have Hensel, Hensel and Gretel, where the um, haggy like witch is uh, trying to get these children to fatten up so she can eat them. In 1900, the Frank Baum wrote The Wonderful Wizard of Oz where here we have good witches and wicked witches. There are the angel-like good witches who are the witch of the north and the witch of the south. And then you have the witch of the east and the witch of the west who are the wicked ones. The witch of the north is seen as a very beautiful witch who is trying to help Dorothy to get where she needs to go. And then you see the Witch of the West, who is wicked and is trying to hurt Dorothy. And she's the hag-like witch with green skin. 
and you can pour water on her and she she dies melts away in 1950 we get c.s lewis's chronicles of narnia and in there there's the witch the the white witch um the story of the white witch she is seen as beautiful very tall um seven feet tall um she stands over most people and she can she's very strong she can bend iron with her bare hands in 1990 terry pratchett and neil gaiman wrote good omens in there there there's a witch who is trying to stop the apocalypse good omens is about an angel and a demon who are trying to find satan's son they cross paths with a witch who is trying to stop the apocalypse by using her ancestors book prophecies which they also need in 1995 alice huffman wrote a uh, practical magic this is the story of Owen's women are blamed for everything that happens in their town and they are forever ostracized and they are outsiders the ants in this um story are trying to get the, the young sisters who are quite uh, being bullied by this town. The, the ants are trying to get them to embrace their witchcraft and in, make potions and hang around with a group of black cats and embrace their heritage. But these two sisters want to escape this um, town and in order to do that, one of them is trying to get married and the other one runs away. In 2011, Deborah Harkness wrote A Discovery of Witches. It follows Diana Bishop, a history of science professor at Yale University. She embraces her magical blood after finding a lost um, manuscript and gets romantically involved with a vampire. So now we get to the romance story of witches. And in conclusion, we get the horrific stories of witches trying to hurt innocent people. And it evolves to angel-like witches who are trying to save people with their strength and their witchcraft. And then we get the romantic witch who's trying to win the heart of the human guy or the vampire, whichever one you like. So down below in the comments, let me know what you, what kind of witches do you like? And if you have any recommendations of books that I didn't talk about, you can put them down there as well. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please press the like button. If you would like more content from me, please press the subscribe button. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.